Okay, here's my latest harebrained scheme for those of you who have a tough time finding the wife to uh, pump the brake pedal when needed. Um, this is made out of PVC pipe. It does uh, use high air pressure, so don't be killing yourself with building this thing. Uh, but basically, here's what I did. This is the uh, piston, which is just PVC pipe. Uh, it's one and a half inch internal diameter. And then you have to uh, glue some sort of cap on the end of it to make it obviously airtight. Um, and this half ass <laughs> plexiglass thing is just a little uh, four sided box to keep it on the brake pedal. And the top wall of the box has a hook on it so you can actually hang it on the brake pedal. And that keeps it contained. Uh, there's also two little holes drilled uh, to hook bungee cords in to help retract the uh, piston back after you've deployed it. Um, so that's the easy part. Then you have the cylinder itself and that requires a little bit of fabrication. Um, this is, uh, it says it's two inch pipe. I presume it's two inch internal diameter, I have no idea. Um, the two pieces of pipe almost make a tight fit, but not quite. So I have this chunk of PVC board, as you can see it's hacked up. Um, so with a circle saw a uh, or a hole saw, I cut out a circle, which you can see here. Um, so that was the outside diameter. Then I had a slight the smaller hole saw that I trimmed a little bit of a step down that would fit over the end of um, the pipe. So basically this is much bigger than the two inch pipe. It's got a step inside that's the size of the two inch pipe that it fits down on and then you cut a the smallest hole that will um, accommodate your piston. Um, the hole saw was just a little bit small and then with sandpaper I just sort of uh, sanded it till it was smooth and it just fits. Now because of the tight fit you have to lube it with um, some tri flow to get it to pump in and out. So the cap is probably the most critical piece of uh, fabrication you have to do. Um, <laughs> as you can see it's been affixed to the end of the cylinder with all sorts of means. I used crazy glue, then I used epoxy, and then I melted some plastic just to make sure it would stay on there. Um, now at the other end I have my half-assed block of wood here protecting the pipe. So I will peel away my Gorilla Tape here. And it's basically just a cap on the end, but then you have to make a fitting to get your air pressure in. Um, now because I have this coming straight off the end, I had to make my little block of wood with a V in it so it would surround the uh, fitting here and protect it when it's shooting out. Now if I, uh, Pull this around a couple times. Okay. Uh, there's my air fitting. It's basically just a spare bolt I had lying around that I drilled a hole all the way through. And it was the right size that I could put a hose clamp on a decent piece of tubing. So it's clamped on. And then uh, I have a tap and die set I got for like nine bucks at uh, Harbor Freight. So I figured out what the threads were, tapped a hole there, that screws in. And at the other end of the pipe, I have uh, my air squirter. Obviously, it hooks into the uh, compressor here. 
and at the other end it usually has a little nozzle but the nozzle unscrews and because of that uh, I drilled out another bolt that actually fit the threads to this thing so between the um, hose clamp, the hose, and the drilled out bolt that'll screw on to your uh, air squirter and then all you have to do is uh, punch the button to make the uh, piston shoot out. Okay, so here it is sitting out on the driveway. Uh, I have my air hose hooked up to my trigger and the piping going to the back of the cylinder. And the piston's stuck on the front and it's aimed out towards the backyard. Um, and I'm going to shoot some air and we'll watch the piston go flying off and the cylinder shoot backwards. Uh, I'm doing like 120 PSI um, to get the brake pedal to go down to the floor, but obviously you're just giving it a quick squirt with the trigger. You're not holding it down all the time. Um, obviously because of the air needs, you need a pretty good sized uh, air compressor. If you have a small air compressor, it means you're going to have to be waiting almost every time you use it to for the tank to refill. Um, so just to show you how nicely this works, but how potentially dangerous it is if you don't watch what you're doing, we will give it a shot here. And there it is. So here it is finally installed in the car, ready for use. Um, here's the plexiglass uh, little box that surrounds the brake pedal and the top wall has the hook on the back so it will actually hang on the brake pedal. Um, the cylinder walls are lubed with uh, good old tri-flow. Uh, miracle stuff. It will make anything slippery. Uh, and then I have the bungee cords to retract the piston back after each uh, shootout. And the cylinder, I have a Gorilla Tape holding the block of wood that uh, allows the tubing to escape with the 90 degree bend without kinking it. And then I have a bunch of stuff in the seat back to get the cylinder at the correct angle so that the piston will happily retract. You kind of have to play with the angles and the distances and everything. Um, now the great thing about this is when you hit the button it'll push the brake pedal all the way to the floor. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate that because I finally got the brakes on this thing the way I want them and I'm not going to risk screwing them up by going all the way to the floor. But when I hit the button hopefully you'll see that uh, it really does the trick all day long. So that's pretty much the whole story. Um, the way I used it is I got my little wrench that would fit the uh, bleeder nut and put the tubing on the bleeder nut so I didn't have brake fluid going everywhere. And what I would do is crack open the bleeder nut, hit the trigger for about one second, and then close it off. And just kept doing that. Crack it open, hit the trigger, close it off. And the brakes bled much better than doing them by foot for some reason. So, And if you have long enough tubing, you can uh, just go from wheel to wheel with the trigger with you and leaving the piston and cylinder obviously in place. And just crack it open, hit the button for literally one second, and close it off, and you should have a good bleed.